Hello everybody, and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So, yeah, this uh, this is Light Swans. It's interesting, it's own a little quirk. It's mostly interesting due to Realm of Light actually being here. It's not usually played in any Light Swan variants, and it's played solely because Light Trade Diadelus exists. So, how does those two work is quite easy, actually. Since we have Solo Recharge, Charge of the Light Brigade, Minerva the Exalted Light Sworn, and Isolde that can send cards from the deck to the graveyard, Realm of Light gains Shine Counters. The fact that it boosts the Light Sworns by 100 points is irrelevant. What we need is the second effect, that if this card will be destroyed, by a card effect, I can remove two shine counters instead. And since Light Ray Diadelus destroys three cards on the field, one field spell and two other cards, I can just use his effect targeting a Realm of Light, which has at least two counters, and I'll be keeping the Realm of Light, and I will be destroying two other cards on the field. Also, another fun fact, this is a soft once per turn. So, if I'm able to summon two Light Ray Diadelus and my realm has more counters than two, let's say four, I can destroy four cards on the field without losing anything, just because I can. Also, Light Ray Diadelus doesn't specify whose field spell he's destroying. So, he can just blow up three cards the opponent controls if one of those is a field spell. It's a very interesting tech card in this in this build. There's nothing else I could want to say about this. It's very standard light sworn engine with a lot of milling. The only thing important here is Realm of Light and the Neo Space Connector thingy with Aqua Dolphin, Hero Kid, and Bamboo Swords. The Infinite Impermanence and Ash Blossom as hand traps, Blood Spitter Zombie, so I can get into Coral Dragon and Muddy Mud Dragon if need be, so I can just Make another negation with Dragoon, Light Ray Diadelus for reasons I already mentioned, and Codebreaker Zero Day, so I can just use the Codebreaker package as I usually do with the Converter Engine. So, yeah, uh, that would be it for today, and I, I'll be seeing you next time. Check out all, sign out. Peace!